What's the deal YouTube? Device Overdose is back with a new video. I am your host, Ty. Are you tired of storing your data on internet-based cloud storage services like these? Of course you are. So, in today's episode, I will be taking a fast look at a network-attached storage device, like this Western Digital My Cloud Home. Could this personal cloud be better than a paid subscription? I'll take a look at the design. I will connect the device to my network and check out the features. We'll chop it up a little bit about the benefits of owning a personal cloud, coming up next. Internet cloud storage is an option that has always perplexed me, and, to be reasonably honest, I have never really been comfortable with these internet-based cloud service providers, for obvious reasons. However, shortly after starting the channel, I've become inundated with large 4K files. My 2TB PC was running out of storage, and rapidly becoming saturated with files that I may never use again. So, I went out to Best Buy, and I bought the Western Digital My Cloud Home. This device allows you to store, and access your files, from anywhere in the world. Now, here we have a nice ass device. On the top of the My Cloud Home, there is a succession of air vents, because the system does generate some heat. The glossy white plastic top, in contrast with the plastic diamond armor bottom, is very appealing in my opinion. The device has a simplistic, yet modern appearance. The unit will blend into any setting, and, the device has a compact design, ideal for limited space situations. With that being said, let's keep it moving into the next step. Because I am pretty sure I left something inside of this box. Of course I did, this right here is your power supply, nothing too fancy. Also, this is your thick ass ethernet cable, and now it looks like I have everything that I need, okay, let's keep it moving. Next, the quick start guide has a code that you will need, if for some reason you cannot find the device on your network. Next, head over to mycloud.com for setup, or you can download the MyCloud home application. The app has a smooth interface with the device. You can upload or download large files like your videos, your photos, your albums, and, you can do all of this wirelessly, from anywhere. The My Cloud Home is a non-Wi-Fi device, but the system does require an Ethernet connection. However, you are still able to stream videos and watch movies directly from the device. At the front of the unit, there is an LED indicator light strip. This light has a gentle pulse, as the system searches for a network. When a successful connection has been established, the light will remain solid. On the back side of the unit, there's your USB Type-A port. Below that, there's your Ethernet port and your power supply. The unit requires a constant power supply to function. Connecting the unit to your network is a simple process. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable into the MyCloud home unit. Next, plug the opposite end of the cable into the router. This part is pretty straightforward. Also, you will need a Western Digital MyCloud account. After account creation, you will gain access to the MyCloud.com network. I will leave links in the description. After you have set up your MyCloud account online, you can begin to invite family and friends, and, they can begin to create individual accounts. Each invited person can set up their own private space, and only they, can access this space. The MyCloud Home, is a single bay, 4TB, hard disk drive, coupled with a Realtek, A53 quad-core processor. The CPU is a 4K, UHD multimedia SoC with an AP router built in. An SoC chip combines many or all functions on one chip. For the people that may not be familiar with the term, SoC, it simply means system on a chip. The RTD1295, is a bleeding edge, high definition multimedia processor, made for guidance. With that being said, let's move into the next step. While the setup using the app wasn't too painful, setting up the device, using my PC, was a better experience. After you have logged into mycloud.com, Windows 10 will automatically recognize the device, create a desktop shortcut, and then, map the device as a network drive. This type of storage solution can free up a ton of space on your mobile device, or your desktop. And if 4 terabytes is just not enough cloud storage, you can purchase an NAS device that has multiple bays. But, before I move on, hear me out, this little side note applies to the more tech savvy. You cannot expand the unit's storage capacity by connecting an additional drive. However, you can connect your external drive, to transfer files using the USB Type-A port, which is on the back of this unit. Western Digital decided to bless us with a free, 3-month subscription to Plex Pass. Personally, I'm not too familiar with Plex Pass and Plex servers, but for those of you that are, you can grab that code. This particular device is a single bay hard drive, and one of my biggest concerns are, 
What if the hard drive malfunctions? Do I lose all of my data? These types of concerns will definitely spike your anxiety, and the answer to that is no. Upon closer inspection, Western Digital does provide an emergency backup option. This option is available on both the PC and the mobile app. I did not install the PC version, but I can show you the mobile version. The service is called Crowd Storage. Locate the app and open it. Next, click the menu button. After that, click Do More. Next, select Crowd Storage Backup. Then, click the Enable button, and that's it. Previously, I mentioned a space sharing feature. Family and friends are allowed limited access to secure storage on your network. And, if I decide to give my children storage space on the network, I am unable to access that individual's account information. For some people, this security feature could be a concern. The My Cloud Home will cost between 160 to 195 green stamps. WD makes several different versions of this NAS system. And of course, that price increases with every terabyte. Let me know how you feel about this device. Drop it in the comments. And we will be back with another one shortly.